Tonight, an emotional meeting between two families linked together by tragedy and the gift of life. 7 News' Christian Flores tells us how one family's tragic loss saved the life of a total stranger. Now both families are continuing to honor that child's legacy. We decided that today is his birthday, so what better way to celebrate his birthday than to do it together. It was not a typical birthday celebration for Rowan Clark's family. That's because Rowan died in February 2022 of a brain aneurysm when he was only 10 years old. But his mother, Candace Labadee, was still able to be with him by meeting Wendy Ryan for the first time. Through the Gift of Life program, Clark's family donated his organs, saving Ryan's life. When I actually got the call that they had found an organ for me, I was probably within weeks of losing my life. And that connection just just sitting next to her, I swear I can feel him. Labity still gets emotional thinking about her child. I could talk for hours about Rowan. Um, Rowan was the light of my life. He was the light of a lot of people's life. You could feel his energy when he walked into a room. His smile and laughter was absolutely contagious. Ryan, too, has to hold back tears, not only thinking about young Rowan, but also what he has done for her. I'm going to be able to attend, um, you know, our daughter's graduation from nursing school next month. Ryan has found a unique way to honor Rowan. Her brother and other police officers together over in California in Camp Bell have trained a canine and named him Rowan to be part of their police force. And to me, that is just so absolutely incredible because Rowan was a dog person and he wanted to be a canine handler when he grew up. As both families continue honoring Rowan, they want to also remind people how they can save lives like the 10 year old did for Ryan to check that box on the back of your driver's license. So please, like that's that's the main thing. Make sure that you were doing that because you could do, save a life just like Rowan St. Wendy's. Christian Flores, 7 News.